Hi, everyone. This is Kathy with Kathy Stamped World, and I am happy to be here with the first installment of Fun Fold Friday. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love Fun Folds, and so I thought, why not start a series? Um, so I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite Fun Folds. You will be able to find this on my Facebook page, Kathy Stamped World, also on my YouTube page by the same name. And I'll probably show the project on my Instagram page. Um, for those of you that don't get my newsletter, I just want to plug that right now. And you can get that by going here to my blog and you'll be able to do that right there. So at the standardworld.com. But let's get started because it's not going to be a long process. And I want you to get to use this fold as soon as possible. So let me switch here so you're not looking right at me and you're more looking at um, your set here. So we are using just my type stamp set. I'm trying to use some of the things that are retiring because, you know, I'm going to be sad. They're going to be gone. Um, but uh, this particular set is one of my favorites. And so um, we're going to be using this today. I'm also using the delightfully eclectic paper. And I'm going to be sharing all these dimensions with you. So you may want to write it down unless you want to come back and watch the replay. Um, but the first one is, of course, a standard card. And this is eight and a half by five and a half. This is out of paper. And I'm just going to fold that in half. Now, here's where the dimensions get important okay so the first one here is a five and a half by three and a fourth uh, sheet of the peacock now what you're going to do is you're going to want to score this at four and three fourths so i'm just going to put this in my little cutter and score that now what I want to do is I want to make sure this is good and straight because if it's not, my fold is a mess. And trust me, um, this is actually the second recording of this because I blew it the first time. So I don't want to do it the way I did it the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply my adhesive. And I want to make sure it is flush with the top of my card and centered. So I'm going to come in here and make sure it is as straight and narrow and flush with my card. And there I have it. Okay. So that is in there just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead. I've got um, some of the DSP cut already. So to make this fit, this DSP is three by four and a half. So we're going to use the letter side on here. It kind of goes with our cute little set. Now, when I say retiring, that means we've got it until the end of April. Um, so you don't want to miss that opportunity, that window of opportunity. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to just attach this over top. See, they're covering our little flap there. I do have a piece of the DSP in three-fourths inches by four inches. So we'll add that to the bottom just to dress it up on the inside a little bit. Okay, so now I've got my insight done. My outside, I've just got my DSP trimmed down a quarter of an inch. This time we're going to use a little heart. All right. Now you can see the fun fold in action. See that? It just comes over and flips and then opens. I love that fold. It's neat. Now, let's make this look cute, shall we? All right, so I have a white uh, piece here. It's two and a fourth by three and three fourths. And I have peacock that's one inch by two and three fourths inches. So that is actually going to go on the front. 
So I'm going to go ahead and place that on there now. All right. Like so now let's get making it cute. So we're going to pull in a couple of the stamps. We're going to use our peacock pad and just some white. Uh, I think I'll just use this piece right here. I am going to stamp the um, typewriter. Yeah, that's what this is. Although if you ask some young kids nowadays, I'm not sure they know. They, they'll call it a keyboard. I'm gonna stamp that beauty right there. I am going to go ahead and stamp the paper. Okay. And now what I wanna do is, yes, I wanted to say thank you. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to place it kind of towards the left. And I'm going to bring in some bubble band. But I don't know if you noticed in the paper, you see that it has some, some bubble band parts in there. So I'm going to pull that out. So we're just going to add bubble band part here. Because every top holds pink hearts, right? Oh, shoot. Okay, here's what happens when you mess that up. You just and then you Yeah. Perfect. Right? Every time. Yeah, no, not me. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut that out. And I know not everybody loves a fussy cut, but this one is an easy kind of fussy cut. So we're just going to come up and around. And I like to leave just a thin rim of white in my fussy cut all the way around. Okay. Now, the other thing I did was it comes with a plant, and I did pull in some misty moonlight for this. I made the little Oops, a little bowl. And then the plant also in the peacock. Ah, look at how cute that is. All right. And then I did bring in my bubble bath marker, which is here somewhere. And I added some lines. Pretend I'm doing that right now. Color, color, color. Because I actually cheated and I have pre-cut that one out. So there it is. Okay. Now we're going to put this all together to make it big. Before we do, I'm going to take my bone folder and really crease this so it folds nice. And I've got another card to show you because I got one. Uh, but, ugh, look what I just did. Don't you hate when that happens? Uh, we're, we're gonna we'll make it we'll make it work. We're gonna we'll we'll make it work. Look what we're gonna do. We are going to punt. I can punt. All right. So yeah, you get a little. You just you just do things a little different when that happens, right? That's what I do. All right. Well, we're just gonna put this over to the left. I was gonna put it to the right, so we'll put it to the left. It's okay. Doesn't bother me. We're gonna take plant and um, just put him or her right up to the side, just to make it a little desk-like. Okay, and there we have it, our first fun hold. Ta-da! Pretty simple, right? I don't even have a name for it, but it's simple, it's cute. Now, let me show you it inspired it. If this, if the swapper that we swapped with had their name in it, I would give them credit, but they don't, and I'm sorry. And look, I even got 
on their card. <laughs> Little peacock. But this is with the espresso paper. Look how cute this one is. See? Same fold. So, hope you have fun making this card and that you'll join me again next Friday, either on Facebook, Instagram, see the card, but Facebook or YouTube, and uh, you'll join me then. Um, please let me know if there's a fun book you'd like to see. I'd be happy to do it for you. So, until then, happy stamping.